There are going to be so many people that are haters, so many people that come up against you, so many obstacles, so many trials, so many tribulations. And when people ask me, E.T., like for real, for real, E., I know you can give me 20 things that you've done to help yourself to become successful. But E.T., I just need like one or two. Can you give me one or two? And one of the things I tell people is I outlasted the pain. I outlasted the pain. When I was sleeping in those abandoned buildings, I kept telling myself, one day you'll be a homeowner. Every time I walked into that abandoned building, I told myself that this might be your current circumstances, but this will not be how the story ends. All you have to do, E.T., is to survive today. To survive today. When they kicked me out of school, I knew that I would not be a high school dropout for the rest of my life. I knew I got to get through this one day. And so every single day when I wake up homeless, one day, every single day when I woke up in that abandoned building, one day, one day is going to be E.T.'s day. But that day can't come if I give up today. So every single day when I woke up, I kept telling myself, today might not be the day, but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain. I turned homelessness into a book. I turned my father not being in my life to a book. I turned an estranged relationship with my mom into a book. I turned being homeless into a book. I turned being a high school dropout into a bestseller. And not only do they sell it in America, they sell it across the world. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? decision. I didn't go to the doctor and get surgery and get a new brain and get a new heart. I didn't pay any money to get like an upgrade. I didn't get Eric Thomas 5.0. I was the same guy. Then what happened? E, how do you have almost a PhD? How do you have a million, multi-million dollar company? How are you traveling across the world? How are you competing with a Tony Robbins when you come from nothing? One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I want to go to the dealership and buy the best car. I want to move to the nicest neighborhood. I want to fly first class. I want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to Australia. I, want, I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. Will the real Eric Thomas please stand up? Some of you in the room right now, you are where you are. You're giving 60% when you have 120 in you. Why? Because you've never made a decision. You're talented. You just don't want to give up sleep. Pound for pound. Any agent in the room. Pound for pound. Motivational speaker. Pound for pound. Entrepreneur. Pound for pound. Athlete. Pound for pound. pound. Weightlifter. Pound for pound. Whatever you do, I guarantee you when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love that substance too much. You love that vice too much. There's something that you love more than yourself, than your dreams, than your goals. There's some, somebody called me the other day on an interview, stupid question. E.T., what do you feel like on the days that you don't feel like? I said, ask, ask the question again, please. What do you do on the days that you don't feel like so I'm going to be honest with you, I'm way past that. Every day I feel like, every day I feel like eating. Every day I feel like giving my wife the best life. Every day I feel like driving in a nice car. Every day I feel like flying first class. Every, every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred and fifty. Every single day. Somebody said yesterday, E.T., you gave 120. What you going to do tomorrow? I said, I don't know. Give 140. I don't know, but I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. I don't have days to waste.